Hello viewers, it's Josie. Welcome back to Eclectic Movie Reviews and Updates. T today I'm going to do something a wee bit different. As you know, one of the most anticipated movies of 2020 that got pushed to 2021 was Denny Villeneuve's Dune. As a fan of his films, I was really looking forward to it, especially after what he did with Blade Runner 2049. I read the book over lockdown, and I drew Alaskan bullworm art, you know, like from Spongebob. Like a lot of people, I felt disappointed over the delay. I saw a YouTube comment yesterday saying something like, this was the only movie I wanted to see in 2020 and they took it away from me. <laughs> you know, as annoying as it is to wait, I'd much rather have a movie be delayed and amazing than have it be half-baked and not so great. Um, to combat my frustration with the whole COVID epidemic, I decided to write out a satirical fanfic. That being said, I'm going to read aloud four fictional news reports, half taking place in the Dune universe, satirizing current events in the United States. And, uh, um, in case I jump time quickly, note that these four reports take place over the course of a couple of weeks. So if I jump time very quickly, it's not because all the news takes place in one day. It What I'm doing is reading reports that have come out or I'm pretending to come out over the course of a few weeks, if that makes sense. Um, please note that this is 100% parody and non-factual. This fanfic also comes in perfect timing because NASA and SpaceX just recently did their Dragon rocket launch. Report number one. Breaking news. Sources such as ABC, Iraqi's broadcasting company, and CNN, Caladan News Network, tell us that it turns out that the cure to COVID-19 has been found in the form of spice melange on the distant planet of Arrakis. Obviously, Arrakis is billions of light years away but Elon Musk has teamed up with NASA and SpaceX to excavate this spice to implement into treatments and a future vaccine. Musk says, quote, My team and I are going to build super light speed technology to get to Arrakis as fast as we can so that we can obtain the spice and deliver it to Earth and put an end to this virus. Now, Elon Musk does not want to take the credit for the spice vaccine. Rather, he applauds Arrakis and, of course, the CDC and the World Health Organization. Report number two. Melange and Spicer are on their third trial of the Spice vaccine. However, Dr. Anthony Fauci warns about possible limitations. He says, quote, We have got to be careful, for the spice is highly addictive. We do not want an another epidemic in this country similar to one of opioids. Some experts argue that the spice should not be implemented into a vaccine, rather sold as a separate off-the-counter medicine. Dr. Edmund Regis says that if the spice melange is sold that way, it should be prescribed by a doctor the way medicinal marijuana is. Will people become addicted? We will have to wait and see. Turning now to the election, it is clear that the eyes of the Fremen are blue and blue for Biden. Fremen rights activist Chani Kynes has been very outspoken about the Fremen right to vote. She says, quote, We are taking every measure we can to make sure that our voices are heard and our votes are counted. Report number three. It's official. Joe Biden is now our president-elect. This is big news around our country and galaxy, thanks to the high Fremen voter turnout. Chani Kynes says, quote, This is an important landmark in our democracy. It should be marked down in history books for kids to study, for democracy wouldn't be what it is without free men, pun intended. However, this does not stop Donald Trump from requesting a voter recount and suing the planet for voter fraud. Additionally, there will be a runoff election in January for Eric Keene Senate races, and I don't know who girls think is cuter, Timothy Chalamet or John Ossoff. Ossoff may very well be the Chalamet of the political sphere. Report number four. Turns out that we may not need the spice vaccine after all. Paul Atreides, also known as the Muad'Dib, has ordered NASA and SpaceX to shine UV LED lights from ornithopters to finally rid the virus from Earth 
once and for all. Have you seen the lights outside from the ships? They're gorgeous. Even so, there is still a plan to distribute some spice on Earth to treat the leftover coronavirus patients. The future cannot look any brighter, pun intended. The Bene Gesserits, though, are encouraging people to practice mind-body healing, for spice is their most valuable resource. Overall, this is a historical landmark, not just global history, but intergalactic history as well. End of report. I hope you guys enjoyed this satirical fanfic. There has been some scientific research hidden for the public about how ultraviolet LEDs can help eliminate coronavirus. Back in June, an ultraviolet drone was designed to combat the virus. And also in April, an ultraviolet LED maker was able to kill the COVID virus in 30 seconds. And I will put a link to the articles in the description below. In closing, I would like to get the following acknowledgements. Denny Villeneuve for the Team of Dune, Frank Herbert, author of the novel, the CDC, and the World Health Organization, our essential workers, our healthcare providers and first responders, Pfizer, Moderna, Anthony Fauci, NASA, SpaceX, Elon Musk, and of course my brother for helping me come up with the spice vaccine idea in the first place. Well, I hope this cheered you up a bit. Um, I look forward to seeing you next time. Goodbye for now.